time we can be out help support the bison and and be loud and show uh, you know how proud Fargo is of this te uh, this team. Um, we're going to be here. And the day started early as fans beat the sun up this morning to be on ESPN Sports Center, and the energy only continued. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Krista Baim. A happy and loud homecoming that all started with more national attention for the Bison, with Sports Center airing live at the Fargo Dome. That excitement only continued on the field. Alex Egan joins us early now with a look at the game. Alex. Hey, thanks, Krista. Have you caught your breath yet, Bison fans? What an incredible finish to an incredible football game. Head coach Chris Kleiman saying it was the best football game he's ever been a part of. Now, the Bison trailed in the final minute of this one until Darius Shepard, a redshirt freshman, would make a catch, a touchdown catch. Now, Shepard didn't play at all in the first half because of a shoulder injury. But the Bison got him in, and he made the difference. This catch was his second touchdown reception of the day. Great way to make sure Bison Nation knows your name there. And then the Bison defense, who struggled in large part to contain Northern Iowa's offense, comes through in the end, knocking down a Hail Mary attempt. The Bison come back to win by three. 31-28 the final, an instant classic. Carson Wentz is 26 of 40 through the air with 335 yards, four touchdowns, and a pair of picks. In just a few minutes in sports, I'll have complete highlights. Plus, we'll hear from Coach Kleiman after this thrilling football game. Krista? All right, thank you, Alex. The Bison Football Show with Chris Kleiman will air live tomorrow morning at 10.30 a.m. on KX4. As your Bison station, we'll have next week's game against South Dakota with kickoff at 2.30. Congress is looking at a bill to strip Planned Parenthood of its federal funding after a series of controversial undercover videos. On top of this recent controversy, some in North Dakota say Planned Parenthood is supposed to provide basic health care services for women, but does not. Valley News Team's Macy Anger spoke with those protesters who say there's more than 71 alternatives in our state alone. I think it makes me feel used. Jennifer St. Clair let her signs say it all. I think that they say they support women. Uh, some of them, we, don't, we can't even get mammograms out of Planned Parenthood. And they're making a lot of money. Clinics do not even have mammogram machines. It's just something they use to sell their business. Beyond standing against abortions, these protesters say the program should lose its federal funding for non-abortion related health services. Planned Parenthood has put itself out there that it is trying to have facilities where women can go to and get health care services. But the reality and the truth of that, as I can show you, is that in, in North Dakota there are zero places where Planned Parenthood would even offer any kind of services. Planned Parenthood's office in this building that they're protesting in front of is closed today. But on their website, it says they are the nation's leading provider and advocate for high quality and affordable health care. Your doctor or nurse might recommend a mammogram or a biopsy. On the website, it does clearly state the program will offer referrals for services like mammograms. The group does get roughly $500 million from the government each year for non-abortion related health services. I think we can afford a mammogram machine you know, instead of referring out the service. I think that there are many other organizations that do offer the health care for the women. And that funding is what protesters are questioning. In Fargo, Macy Inger, Valley News Live. Planned Parenthood is barred by federal law from using taxpayer money to pay for abo abortions. And coming up, Sleeping Beauty turns a rock and roll.